Thank you again for joining us, and we uh, hope that you'll enjoy the, this episode like you've enjoyed all the others. And uh, as you can tell by the title of this episode, we're getting close to 200 episodes, so um, so we're, we want to thank everybody that's been a part of it all this time, and we hope that you'll keep watching. And um, we, we'd like to hear from you, so if you got a, a Facebook, just go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV inbox is there and you can also contribute to any of the posts that we have there including the interviews uh, if you'd like to email us uh, go to pmashtv all one word at gmail.com and you can use that not just for fan mail but you can also use it if you're a band or a solo artist wanting to be on the show we'd love to hear from you there and uh, be sure to um, uh, subscribe right there on Facebook um, on YouTube excuse me there's a subscribe button right there. Just click that and, uh, you know, reply to the video. We'd love to hear from you there. So, and uh, we always have that credit screen at the end of the show. So feel free to stay tuned for that if you missed anything. And uh, we'll be looking forward to you uh, right there. Now, coming up in just a moment, we have uh, Urge 7, uh, another talented hip-hop artist. And you'll get to see for yourself. And he's from Paris, California. And we'll get to that in a second, but here's another quick word from Click Jam. Don't go away. Whenever it's time to gas up, always keep in mind to drink big and go hard. Log on to clickjam.com and sign up today. Hey, you can always count on us. Clickjam.com. Well, hello, everybody. It's time for interview time again. And from Paris, California, we have uh, Urge 7. Thanks for joining us, man. <laughs> My pleasure. The pleasure is mine, Paul. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we, we enjoyed having you on the show right now. Um, tell us a little bit about how it began for you as far as music goes. I mean, everyone has their own story. I'm sure you got a good story to tell us about that. Um, long story short, just grew up in a musical home where my mom was, uh, involved in church. And, uh, you know, she preached sermons in Sunday school and she had us sing in the sunshine band and in elementary school, I was in the chorus and the glee club and just exposed to music, uh, at an early age through my family and my, and my community. And uh, it really stuck. Uh, started probably playing around with my own songs. And around uh, shortly after Sugar Hill Gang came out, I was in uh, elementary school, grade school, and I would kind of switch the lyrics up because my name is Gerald. So I'm the M A S, the T E R, the G with a double E. Well, I go by the unforgettable name of the one they call a Master G. That's how I started rapping, just mimicking those guys. And mm -hmm. um, by the time I was 12, I was writing my, writing my own poems. And by the time I was 15, I was writing my own verses. And by the time I was 19, I had my first record deal. So that's it. Just always had a love for music and acting and drama always was involved in the school plays and you know uh the, one of the three wise men in church with the sheet on and the whole <laughs> the whole garb and i was just always involved in drama and uh in school and uh being a thespian in high school being in different drama and acting classes and my mom got me involved in acting at a young age as well six or seven years old reading little scripts for kiwi shoe polish and stuff like that for a few acting places and uh it was no fun at that age you know seeing all the kids skateboarding and getting wet and stuff and we're in there reading scripts and studying piano kind of sucked but uh, being exposed to the arts at an early age she definitely instilled some stuff in us that could never be taken away uh, from anyone just a passion hmm, okay well that, that is a pretty good story and of course you mentioned a couple of those bands like Sly and the Family Stone and all those I, I can remember growing up with their music <laughs> Yes, sir. Al Green, all that good stuff. Aretha Franklin. <laughs> you were hearing that. They're playing cards. They're playing dominoes. It's barbecues. And that's that was the soundtrack. Yes, sir, Paul. 
Yeah. Uh, did, would you say those are your influences? Did you have any other influences that come out in your mind besides that? Or? Well, I mean, early on, uh, I mean, all musical influences. I like a lot of stuff, man, from Beatles, Eric Clapton, you know, just a, I, like a, I have an eclectic uh, amount of music that I listen to. Uh, but uh, early hip hop, man, a bunch of the early hip hop stuff was very inspiring. Um, Master Rhymes, uh, Super Rhymes, uh, who else inspired? Run DMC, of course, Houdini, all those, all those groups that started off back in the day, Jekyll and Hyde, LL Cool J, just those type of groups. Uh, those were the people that you watched growing up, and they were the people who inspired you when you saw Kumo D uh, with the glasses on doing Wild Wild West. And you know, those were the things you grew up to, and the, those were the soundtracks that were playing on uh, the backdrop to you know high school and junior high and you know, track and football and stuff like that. Just the stuff you remember listening to on the bus when we had Walkmans with a headset, you know, yeah. and uh, just some of that stuff, you know, the stuff they played at the school dance, Ducky Fresh, just some of the stuff, you know, that they, if, if they played it back in the day, UTFO, Roxanne, Roxanne, just all the things that you remember uh, coming up that you would hear, you, you didn't necessarily have to buy the record, but you heard it everywhere you went. So, you know, just hmm. the, those were my influences, stuff you heard at the skating rink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's true. Um, well, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm, I'm sure you've had some albums, but do you uh, do you have any albums, or uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about them? Oh, of course. Um, no, and I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, I have several albums and mixtapes, but um, I just put out um, one of my um, new albums. It's called uh, uh, Urge 7, uh, Too Nasty, Expect It expect it expect it like christmas expect it but uh that's uh it's, it's an album that i just dropped recently uh, with a producer named too nasty he's from the uk oh my goodness super talented guy um excuse me excuse me i had a great opportunity um it was a blessing to be able to work with him we've never met and it's interesting he's coming out this summer <laughs> and uh, we're gonna actually meet in person for the first time but uh we've never met in person we did the whole out online um you know him you know, through via email and just like this, ch video chats and stuff like that, the power of technology. But I have several projects up online, man. You can Google uh, uh, just, you know, anywhere digital music is sold, anywhere the listeners buy, or buy and or find their digital music. Uh, you just search U-R-G and the number seven, all together, no space. And uh, you'll get a bunch of good stuff, man. Uh, I think I currently have about 52 albums available streaming online. Um, most of them are at my distributor. My main distributor is cdbaby.com, but the music's everywhere. iHeartRadio, iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, YouTube. You can find me everywhere. Oh, okay. Well, that, well, that's good to know. And uh, again, speaking of your music, um, we're just getting ready to play in a few minutes uh, one of your music videos. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it and what the title is and if there's a story behind it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's, that's interesting, too. I'm glad you said that. That's, that's perfect. You're a good segue guy. I like that, Paul. <laughs> okay, let me say this to the listeners. Yeah, I, I hear that all the time. So. <laughs> Paul, Paul on his job, man. Paul on his thing. Don't think he's just sitting behind there playing coy. You know what he's doing, man. This guy's the real deal. <laughs> no, that was a great segue. But no, the, this, the video to the song comes off the same album, Expect It. That's why I said that. That was perfect. It comes off that same album, um, Too Nasty, Earth 7, Earth 7, Too Nasty, Expect It. It's uh, streaming everywhere digital music is sold right now and available. The video is uh, Plug Me In. And it's, it's basically just talking about, look, I don't care what kind of problems y'all having. If you've got a microphone, just plug me in. I'll mm -hmm. take, it's going to take it care of. Plug me in. I'll show you what to do with this microphone. Wait, you don't know how to rock it? You don't know how to rock it? He mumbling? Plug me in. I'll show you what to do with this mic. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, well, well, that's good. And we'll see that in just a moment. But uh, just want to let you know, uh, Earn 7, we got the... Um, about all we really need for now, and uh, we we do appreciate you coming on. We'd love to have you back sometime if you got something new to plug. Let me tell you something, Paul. I would love to come back um, and very soon. I always have something to plug because I stay super busy, and I love this show, man. And everybody out there, if you're not watching this show, you're sleepwalking and sheep talking. Wake up, <laughs> Brother Levanta, turn on the Paul Mass show. Okay, well, I, well, I appreciate that. I'm always, um, I'm always happy to hear, you know, positive feedback on that. So um, I'm, I'm glad that uh, you're another one of the more popular ones that do. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think I've ever heard any bad words about my show. So that's it. So I, so I'm doing something right. 
You and know? <laughs> as long as they're talking about you in any form, you're making a difference. Because if you weren't anything to talk about, if you weren't anything worth bringing up, nobody would bring it up. Why would they? So you keep doing exactly what you're doing. I appreciate your format. I appreciate the opportunity, Paul. And I will be back. That's, that's not a promise. It's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> well, all righty then. Uh... I guess we'll go right to the music video. Uh, plug me in. I guess you said the name of it is, and we'll watch that right now. Here it is on Paul Myers TV. Don't go away. Hello. Yeah, I'll take it. It's time to play. Urge seven too nasty. Give it up, go ahead, dance if you want, I don't give a fuck Baby, I ain't got time to trip Interviews, shows, tours, all kinds of shit Touchdown in your city, play a private set Hub City when I step off that private jet Turn the radio up, when Compton on Urge 7, get them wet, like a thunderstorm Back in the air, got another show You made dinner plans, baby, but I gotta go And you gotta know, my lifestyle is hectic Most chicks show gratitude, still respect it Most chicks be mad, still accept the necklace Most chicks have an attitude, but still get naked Plus I'm known to pull a all-nighter Up sunrise, blow your city like Al-Qaeda Plus I'm known to pull a all-nighter Up sunrise, blow your city like Al-Qaeda Man, you cats ain't true to life Hand me the steel, I'll show you what to do with the mic Man, you cats ain't true to life Plug me in, I'll show you what to do with a mic Man, you cats ain't true to life Hand me the steel, I'll show you what to do with a mic Man, you cats ain't true to the life Hand me the steel, I'll show you what to do with a mic I'm falling on your head like raindrops Grab the microphone, spit it to the pain, stop Underground, 20 years in the basement Came to give the whole rap game a facelift Compton in the house, throw them fucking dubs up Put our record on it, tear the fucking club up Go ahead, take another bong rip Hip-hop ain't dead, they just playing the wrong shit Drop hot jams back to back Other rappers in it for a plaque, plaque When you see me coming, it's the Mac So, crack the yak and twist the sack No, you'll never reach my Plateau. Some call me fat, so professional asshole. And nah, this ain't up for debate. Fuck the fakery, bakery, man, I'm up for the cake. And nah, this ain't up for debate. Fuck the fakery, bakery, man, I'm up for the cake. Man, you cats ain't true to life. Hand me the steel, I'll show you what to do with the mic. Man, you cats ain't true to life. Plug me in, I'll show you what to do with a mic. Man, you cats ain't true to life. Hand me the steel, I'll show you what to do with a mic. Man, you cats ain't true to the life. Hand me the steel, I'll show you what to do with a mic.